The thing is... Is this your husband? Because he's been mine for the past 19 years. But you know what? I don't want him anymore. You can have him. Wait, no, no, I didn't know anything about this! Julian, what is she talking about? Julian, I am talking to you! Scum, Julian! Scum! Hey, babe. Do you think that we could go to our favorite restaurant this weekend? Oh, I would love to, honey, but, uh, got some plans with the boys. Going on a little road trip. We can go another day. Yeah. I was just really hoping that we could go this weekend, but it's fine, we can go some other time. Oh, honey, come on, don't make that face. You know what makes me feel guilty? I'm just spend a little time with the friends. We do it all the time, it's good for our marriage. Yeah, but you're always only hanging out with the guys when you used to take me with you all the time. Take it easy on Dad. He's just trying to relax. Remember, he works very hard all week. I mean, this doesn't concern you, kiddo. Then you shouldn't be arguing in front of us, right, Christine? Please don't bring me in on this. It doesn't concern me. But you're a part of the family. Charlie, your mother's right. This doesn't concern you. Christine? Yes, sir. Breakfast almost ready? Five more minutes. Hey, Christine. Have you seen Charlie? I haven't seen him since last night, but you know how teenagers are. They don't always come home. <laughs> oh my gosh. I can't count on that kid to do anything. I just needed him to pick up my cell phone from the repair shop and bring it to me. I'm sure he'll be here soon. You know what? I'll use Julian's phone and try to give him a call. Are you okay, ma'am? Yeah, I've been married to Julian for 19 years. And you came into our house when we had Charlie, and not once has Julian ever put a password on his cell phone. Something's not right. Well, it's not like I'd be looking at his phone, but you're right. The times that he has asked me to look at it, there has never been a password. Have you noticed anything strange with Julian's behavior? I prefer to stay out of this situation, ma'am. I know something's not right. There's too many things that don't match. And I'm sure that you know something's going on. Like I said, I am only here to do my job. Besides, I shouldn't be getting involved in my boss's personal life. I'm going to take Julian's phone and see if I can figure this out. Well, babe, I guess you made reservations at our favorite restaurant. Yeah, that's not necessary for you to make it up to me. Of course I have to make it up to you. I love you and I want us to be okay. Well, I gave Christine the day off. I need to go grocery shopping and Charlie took the car, so may I borrow your keys? Uh, babe, babe, please. I just want to spend some time with you. Now is not a good time. I have a lot I need to get done. Okay. All right, I respect that. But just know that I'm a man, and I have needs. What are you getting at? Take the keys. Hey, is everything okay? Need some help? I have a flat tire. Oh, this is my husband's car and I just... No worries. <laughs> I can help you change it. Do you have a spare? Yeah, that, that would be great. I, I'm not sure, but now we can look. Thank you so much for stopping, by the way. Oh. Condoms? I knew it. Julian's been acting strange lately and this all adds up now. 
the password on his phone, the nights out with his friends. How could he do this to me? Julian, explain this to me. I found this in the back of your car. What are you talking about? I'm talking about this. Alexa, what is this nonsense? Come on. Don't touch me. Explain yourself. All right. Okay, first of all, that bag belongs to Andrew. He left it in my car last night. I was going to give it back to him this weekend before the road trip. Listen, you've been really distant the past couple months, and I instantly thought the worst of you. Hey, I'm sorry for making you think all those things about me. Hey, we have a life together. You're the love of my life. I would never do that to you. Hey, Andrew, how are you? I'm doing great, how about you? I'm doing pretty well, how can I help you? Uh, is Julian here by any chance? Oh no, he's not here at the moment. Oh. But, you know, actually, we found your toiletry bag in Julian's car. But don't worry, he said he was gonna give it back to you this weekend on your trip. My toiletry bag? <laughs> Alex, I think you might be confused. I haven't seen Julian in a couple weeks. I'm actually going to spend the weekend with my family. Oh, are you sure? Because he said he was going on a trip with the boys this weekend. Well, maybe a couple of the guys are going, but as far as I know, I haven't heard anything. Hmm. I must have got confused or misheard him or something, but sorry about that. You know, I'll, I'll let him know you stopped by. Yeah, no worries. Thanks. Okay. Bye. Take Thanks. care, Alex. Alexa, is everything okay? You seem very upset. Yeah, no, everything's fine. I know I work for you, but you can count me as a friend. You can tell me what's going on. Yeah, no, you're right. I found a toiletry bag in Julian's car and it had condoms in it. I told Julian about it and he said it belonged to Andrew. And I believe him because it makes sense because Andrew just broke up with his girlfriend. Julian said he was gonna give it back to Andrew on their road trip this weekend. I just ran into Andrew. It's not his toiletry bag, and he said he knows nothing about the trip this weekend. I know I've told you I do not like to get involved in your personal life, but enough is enough. I have found some strange behavior about Julian as well. While doing laundry, I have found condom wrappings, makeup stains, and traces of perfume on his clothes. Why haven't you told me this before? I've asked you so many times. I told you I do not like to get involved in your personal lives, much less my boss. It's okay. It's fine. Hey, babe. How was your day? Fine, I'm fine. I... How was yours? That was all right. A little stressful. Well, listen, Julian, we need to talk. Don't tell me Charlie's been missing school again. No, this has nothing to do with Charlie. Listen, I ran into Andrew today, and he said the toiletry bag wasn't his. And furthermore, he has no idea that you're even going on a road trip this weekend. So why do you think you can fool me? Listen, I thought the bag was Andrew's. He's the only one the condoms could have belonged to. Besides, it could have been anybody. Like yours, for example? How can you even say that? Do you even hear how you sound right now? And what about your nights out with Andrew? Andrew said he hasn't seen you in weeks, but yet you claim you've seen him all the time. Okay, well, I don't know what happened with Andrew, but I'm going out with the rest of the boys from the office this weekend like I said I was going to. That's not what you told me. You said you would be going out with the same guys. So what the hell is going on? I'm going out on a road trip with the boys from the office. I can call them right now and verify for you if that's what you want. Listen, please stop acting like you don't know what I'm talking about. The condom wrappers in your pockets, the makeup stains on your shirt. You watch too much television. You know that everything coming out of your mouth right now is stupid nonsense. It is not nonsense. Christine told me herself I'm not making this stuff up. No, you and Christine are the same. I don't know why Christine is making up these lies about me, but it probably has something to do about me not letting her home to see her family for Christmas. You know, it really hurts that you think of me that way. 
Well, you're hurting me with the things you're doing. How can you think that I would have an affair? We've been together for 19 years. I can't even think of anybody else. Yeah, but if that's what you want to think, if you want to leave, go right ahead. I'm not going to stop you. There's just a lot that indicates you're seeing someone else. Look me in the eye. You are the love of my life. You and Charlie are my everything. I would never do anything to hurt you. Then why would Christine lie about something that's so sensitive? I told you. It's probably because I didn't let her go home for Christmas. You know, she was like family to us. It really hurts that she's telling lies about our marriage. Then you need to deal with it how you see fit. Christine. Where's Christine? Christine's not here anymore, Charlie. Did she go to get groceries? No. Christine is not going to be working for us anymore. But how? Or why? She's the only person that I can count on in this house. Stop it, Charlie. Hey, she's going to be fine. I gave her a couple contacts. She's got another job in no time. Still haven't told me why you let her go? Well, son, she was making up lies. Saying things that weren't true. I'm Christine. The agency sent me here because you hired a housekeeper. Oh, yeah. I'm so glad you're here. My husband and I had a reunion last night, so the house is a mess. Oh, don't worry about it. I'll take care of it. All right, cool. Well, uh, I'm just going to be hanging out around here. Uh, if you need anything, feel free to take whatever you want from the kitchen. Thank you. I finished working on the rest of the house. All that's left is this room. Wow, that was fast. Glad they sent you. I'm just watching the show that my husband and I love. So are you married? Yes, I am. Here. This is my husband. Hmm. Only problem is he works a lot, so I only get to see him on weekends. I'm sure he's very busy, so how long you been married for? Two years. <laughs> yeah. We met at this coffee shop that I used to work at. It all happened really fast. I mean, we got married like six months later, and now we have this beautiful six-month-old boy. <laughs> it sounds very charming. It is. We're really happy. But uh, enough talking. Let me get out of your way so you can finish up and leave as soon as possible. <laughs> no, don't worry. I won't leave until you're satisfied with my services. <laughs> you know, I really like you, Christine. Do you mind if I have your contact information? That way, the next time you need my house cleaned, I can just contact you directly. <laughs> yes, of course. Here, why don't you just put it in my phone? <laughs> Alrighty, thank you. <laughs> Christine, it's good to see you again. What did you want to talk to me about? I know I no longer work for you, but I still care about you. That is why I wanted to tell you that Julian has another woman. Are you sure you know what you're talking about? Yes, I went to her house. She showed me a picture, they had a baby. Are you sure? Did, did you tell her about me? No. I wanted to tell you first. We... We need to go see that miserable man right now. I'm gonna show him exactly what I'm capable of this time. Come on, Christine, let's go.
Oh, Julian, you're ready to go. Good, now let's get in the car. What is Christine doing here? We're gonna give Christine a ride home. Christine, I really miss you. Alexa, what exactly are you doing? What's wrong with giving our friend Christine a ride home? I'm not getting in the car with two crazy women. <laughs> yes, you are. Now let's go. Shut the door. There's something I want to talk to you about. Okay, well, what's, what's going on? What is it? The thing is... Is this your husband? Because he's been mine for the past 19 years. But you know what? I don't want him anymore. You can have him. Wait, no, no, I didn't know anything about this! Julian, what is she talking about? Julian, I am talking to you! Scum, Julian! Scum! 